Hi guys, in this video we'll be covering SQL injection for get method and uh, we'll be doing it in a search bar. So how we are gonna do it, uh, we'll first try to figure out the SQL injection and then we'll dump uh, a bit of the database and uh, try to learn how to do it manually. We'll be doing it uh, for low level uh, in this video and in the successive video I'll be covering medium level and uh, as you know uh, by 2005 I guess uh, the high level is uh, impossible so it can't be done so we'll be doing it only for low level and then in the successive video we'll be doing it for medium level so how we are gonna do it first um, we'll try to figure out the SQL injection with uh, single quote or double quote and as you see when I entered uh, single quote uh, it gave me an error we have an error in SQL syntax so one thing is clear there is a possibility of SQL injection here so how we can exploit it uh, we'll try some standard um, some standard uh, SQL injection payloads like uh, this one like this one or when equal one has this one this is uh, one of the standard SQL injection payload and what it does is uh, it breaks out of the query and makes everything uh, same everything true that means uh, Let's try and we get to uh, we get uh, a lot of results and these are the possible results. So how it works? Uh, let's try uh, uh, a simple thing to to demonstrate how it works. So first of all, uh, we try we search this and we get only one result so the query the query there is something like this uh, select something from some table where this title is like something and this title like uh, percent title this means uh, we if we enter here cabin we'll also get the same result and the reason being uh, we are searching for substrings uh, so if anything we entered is in the title is displayed here so the query is uh, we can assume it to be like this and I'm not sure whether the query is like this or not but uh, I'm just assuming it to be like this so how can we exploit it further less for easier, easier understanding consider it to be like uh, this one uh, select title release character generate and imdb and these fields these are the fields in table this title release character generate and imdb so what the query is doing is the query is uh, selecting all of these fields from some table some unknown table we don't know what the name of the table is and where the title we are entering so once uh, we enter the payload this one once we enter this payload the query becomes something like this so what actually happens is where title equal cabin in the woods we were entering previously so when we done this this payload the query becomes something like this so title equal the cabin in the woods or one equal one so this boolean operator this makes everything one so that's the way the SQL injection is working now we are using this um, this hash symbol for commenting we can comment uh, in two ways in mysql either this way or we can use another way of commenting which is like this 
we can comment like this as well but uh, with commenting with uh, double um, double dashes we need to be sure of one thing that there is a space between any further character so we added p because uh, if there is no space and if there is something else then this is not a comment and this will treat as a uh, regular symbols in SQL so we need to make sure there is a space between these two dashes and P so now we have uh, figured out uh, the SQL injection and we know is it is working now the question is how can we use it for a benefit so we know we can dump the database but uh, how to start so we are just going to do it manually we'll try to figure out uh, what the name of the table is which is unknown to us and other things but how to do it uh, first of all we need to figure out uh, the number of columns that are existing in this table that means the table from which we are extracting data we need to find out uh, what is the name of this table so how can we do it first we need to figure out uh, how many what we say uh, how many columns are there in this table so how do we do it um, we make use of union queries union based payloads so we concatenate uh, 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 another statement with this union so what we are going to do it we just simply uh, we will use an order by clause so what this will do is uh, we'll try to order it by 5 and ordering it by 5 means we are uh, going to short the output by the column number 5 that that means if this is the column number 5 in the table then uh, the uh, all the results will be shorted according to this column in ascending order so how it is beneficial for us we know that uh, while we are doing this uh, one thing is confirmed that column 5 exists this means there are 5 columns in the table and what if we does it okay so when we put in 10 here we get uh, an error it says uh, co column 10 in order clause error so this unknown error is uh, thrown because there uh, doesn't exist uh, a column number 10 that means the table has columns less than 10 so we know the table has columns less than 10 and greater than 5 let's try with 5 let's try with 7 and yes there exist seven columns so again we'll try with uh, eight and there is no um, hard code method of knowing this we just need to hit and try until we get um, success so for eight columns we are also getting error that means the table in total has seven columns so how is it gonna be beneficial for us okay we know the table has seven columns we also know uh, the SQL injection is working so we can use we can make use of union based queries to dump data so four five six seven so what we are doing is we are printing out uh, uh, all the seven columns and we are just checking which columns are uh, printing to us uh, that means uh, um, let's make it clear here okay here it put it to that means this title this is the second column in the table and uh, this is the third this is the fifth this is the fourth and this is we don't know because it always prints link so 